Welcome to another mini video from 3dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Inkscape to show you how to create simple hands using rectangles and lines. The advantage of using lines is the flexibility. I covered that in the two previous videos on stick men and stick animals. I'm using the same approach here. I'm starting with a rectangle, round it off and use the pen tool. I create a straight line and assign a stroke to it. I set the width to be thick enough to match my palm and change the caps to be rounded. That way I have the basic shape for my finger. In order to be fingers I need at least four or five. Cartoon characters often just have four. Using just three fingers and a thumb makes the hand look less crowded. I am using the note tool to adjust the lines. Use your own hand as a reference. Have a close look at it. The fingers are not the same length, so putting four identical lines onto the hand will look strange. Just keep in mind this is not an anatomically correct hand. We are just doing a simplified version. So you have lots of creative freedom. It's just a faster way than trying to draw every finger with the pen tool as an outline. Using the lines makes it easier to adjust, place, duplicate and work with the hand. And that gives me my five fingered hand template that I can now scale down to match the little guy and go on to quickly create a variation. He has six arms, let's do six different hand variations. I duplicate the whole hand and start moving the fingers. I use the node tool rather than the move tool in order to avoid scaling the strokes widths. One thing to remember when working with hands is to mirror to have the thumbs on the right side of your hand. In more complex poses it can easily happen but it just looks awkward. Let's do the next hand. This time I turn it and have the finger pointing. For that I adjust the thumb and move three fingers. I don't have to worry about the width or the angle of my finger because it is just a line with the two nodes. Unlike an outline shape, the scaling of a line will automatically adjust while scaling an outline shape will lead to skewing. I repeat the process for a thumbs up. For the last two I am changing the angle a little bit. We'll see the hands more from the side than front on. This also means that my palm will be seen from the side which is a lot narrower.
The fingers are no longer side by side, but they overlap. I duplicate one finger, rotate it slightly and reposition it. I duplicate this hand, mirror it and modify it on the other side. I want it a little bit more open and slightly tilted. And that's it. I quickly created six different hands from one template. If you want to learn more about this method to do fingers, including the shading, adding more details, please check my blog. The link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe, click on the notification icon, leave a like, and I will see you again soon.